Duty calls. Morning. Antes. 
Me estaba siguiendo en el bosque, un tipo raro. Behind me. I know a way we can sneak around. Okay. Keep quiet and don't kill anyone. If they catch us, they'll murder the workers for sure. Go with Leon, please. I'll be alright. Close behind me. I know a way we can sneak around. Okay. Stay close behind me. I know a way we can sneak around. Okay. They'll murder the workers for sure. Quick! Hide! Over there! What's up? Esto es una cosa. Mi abuelo siempre dijo que la Guarma era la isla de la que Dios se había olvidado. Y después de estar aquí un mes, entiendo a lo que se refería. No hay nada aquí. Hay que regresar. Tan solo tres meses más y a casa, por favor. Okay, they moved. Come on, keep close behind me. Let's go. Stay close. Look out. The guard, keep out of sight. Okay, follow me. Keep quiet. Careful. Seguro está disfrutando mientras tortura a esos bastardos. Se le pone tieso el petito. Fue creado por ratas. ¿Ratas? Creado por el mismo diablo. Disfruto viendo un socialista colgando. Ahorcar es un trabajo tedioso, ¿ah? ¿eh? Toma demasiado tiempo. Estás enfermo. Toca ver cómo sigan los prisioneros. A ver si el gringo ya abrió la boca. Claro que abrió la boca. Siempre lo hacen. Mal 
maldito bastardo! from behind us. Hey. Hey. 
So, uh, what's the plan? Follow me. The entrance is along here. Just watch your footing. So, uh, what do we do when we get Javier? Well, we're gonna get the hell out of here. Man, set sail for the one place. Ain't nobody gonna be expecting us. Uh, uh, get everybody together. Uh, and get ourselves back on course. Where would that be? Place we just escaped from. <laughs> you wanna go back to San Denis? If it was you got left, you'd want us to go back. I'd want it, but I wouldn't expect That's it. That's the point. Ain't no one gonna expect it. We come back from the dead, gather everyone, and we leave before anyone realizes we've even resurrected. An insect bite you or something? Cause you gone, friend. We look like what we are. A bunch of desperados on the run. But with the women, a change of clothes, <laughs> we're a choir or a gang of pilgrims or something. Whatever you say. A bunch of penniless fugitives on some Caribbean dump. Sneaking through caves while two of our best men got shot back home. How could I doubt you, Dutch? You got no idea, Arthur. No idea at all. I will do whatever it takes for us to survive. I guess that's what I'm afraid of. Hold on. Why? Gloria! Ay, estás tarde. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Dinero, the money, the gold. A key. Dámelo. Oh, it's genuine, you old hag. Oh. Vamos. Vamos. Rápido. Now that gold right there, that's the last bit of gold I have in my pocket from the bank. The rest of it is at the bottom of the sea. Exactly. You know, wasn't Fusar one of the fellas Bronte pointed out to us? At the party in San Denis? Yeah. You're right. I knew I'd heard that name before. Yeah. So, I met up with Leon. That situation with the workers is dealt with. Captured, tied up, beaten. Poor bastards. No, oh, that was me. Are you sure this Hercule fellers ain't just using us? Almost certainly. But he's the best chance we have right now of getting out of this place. Won't be long before someone figures out who we are and sends word to the U.S. So what happened with John in that bank? He survived. Unlike dear Hosea and Lenny. The only one they took alive. Why is that, you think? I don't know. I was already on the roof. I didn't see it. And Abigail, I presume she was able to slip away in time. What are you talking about? You know, when I look back at all the chaos of the past few weeks, the apparent superficial chaos, I begin to wonder. Maybe. Puede callarse ya. Estamos cerca. The door is stopped. You'll have to lift it. Pardon me, my queen. 
Arthur, come help me with this. Just lift it. Okay, then. <laughs> oh, that's it. This way. Si. Then you pay more. Okay. More. Just a second. Pay more. Pay now. What? What are you doing? Oh, Jesus. Easy, Dutch. What was that? Horrible old crone. But you... We're going to have to sneak around. This way. They're all listening to that fool. They won't notice us if we stay quiet. We need to deal with them. Well, I'm sure you got some ideas. Shut up and help me kill them. On my count, you take the one on the right. I'll take the left. So much for the count to three. Okay, let's hide the bodies. You grab that one. Over here. Let's head around the back of the building and see if we can find a way through. Let's go in there. Uh, well, you know me. Arthur will cause ourselves a little distraction and then poof, we will disappear. Take the other side of this door. Me podría costar mujeres que usan zapatos. Aquí los campesinos son más ignorantes que los animales de sus granjas. Y todo para... ¿Qué carajo? ¡Alto! ¡Puta! Ahí, ahí está. ¡Pégale un tiro al bandido! ¡No, no, 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 no! no. Take the other side of this door. Es la basura de la civilización. Ni es una civilización, un país. Me podía costar mujeres que usan zapatos. Tienes algo de tomar? ¿Cómo sabías? Porque te conozco. Sí. Escondí una botella. Voy a buscarla. Gracias. Okay. You take the nearest one on the left. I'll deal with his friend. Es una mierda. Es lo más bajo de una civilización. I'm not sure that suits you. Over here.
Okay. Now we need to create a diversion. Well, what do you think? Find another old lady to strangle? That is enough, Arthur. This is a war. Well, if this is a war, then we need to start blowing some stuff up. <laughs> exactly. You got any dynamite? Oh, no, we don't need dynamite. We got a furnace and lots of sugar. Sugar? Oh, yeah. yeah. No problem. You'll see. Go close the windows and the doors. Go on, quick. <laughs> Create enough dust. This place will go. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> we are nearly there. For me, I'll get this going. <laughs> Quick, Arthur. Better hurry. Follow me. Okay. I don't want to be too close to that building when it goes up. Come on. We can hide behind that well. That place has to blow soon. Get ready to make a run for Javier.
will give us a chance to get the hair cools for I'll be true there, Archer.
did what you asked. It's like I said. Fusa knows who you are and knows the price on your head. It's a big problem. Uh, I see. But if we can silence him, then I can help you escape before anyone has time to get here from America. That way, we all get what we want. We want to get the boat you promised us. And you will. But you have found yourself in the middle of a war, Mifrid. Fuso has called in the Navy from Cuba. There's no way a boat could leave right now. Hercule! Hercule, s'il vous plaît! Vite! Vite! Come. Follow me. Quick! So now we have a real problem. This must be the boat he called in from Cuba. That's a goddamn wash. You kind of have to hand it to this fella. So I guess great. So what now? We fight or we win. Any of you boys? Running. So what do we do? I will go get the cannon ready. Okay, let's get to it. <laughs> Mark, shoot them, man! Shoot them, fellas! I see. There's more coming down the right side of the beach. Let's prepare the welcoming party. Why the hell are we doing this? This ain't our fight. Do you want to get off this island or not? He's using us. Just shoot, Micah. Arthur, Bill, Micah, hold them back. They're cool. Get that cannon into position. I'll get the ammunition. They're getting real close. Come on. Get... And you are getting us a goddamn boat, Hercule. I am. What do you want me to do? On the left, near the fort! Get that bastard! Got one sneaking up on the right there! Don't let him get any closer! I'm gonna need your help, my friend. Sure! If we don't, we're gonna die here and now. Okay, then. Follow me? This is kind of fun. I think we can move! 
Grab that shotgun, Arthur. There's a lot of guns out there. So what do we do? I say we push forward, because if we don't, we're going to die here and now. Okay, then. Follow me. This is kind of fun. Oh, What in life? We need to put a serious hole in that boat. Let's get down from here. 
Come on. Holding off. There was quite some shooting, boys. Thank you. What now? Oh, they'll be back. But I found a boat for you. And he should be arriving on the dock any time now. Great. Micah, go meet with the captain. If he's amenable and discreet, tell him we'll be ready to set sail soon. Bill, come help me collect poor old Javier. Sure. And cool. It was a great pleasure to make your acquaintance. I thought I was dead for sure. Hi, boys. We got a real problem. Nice, Mr. Food. Quick, let's get up around the back of that artillery post. There's two guards. Arthur, come on. Get your knife ready. You take out the first guy, and I'll get the other one, okay? Damn it! Kill the bastards! Okay, we're clear. Let's plant the explosives. for the others to catch up. I'll get the dynamite rigged on these cannons. There'll be more coming. We'll hold them off. Up here, Arthur. We'll have a better view. Mark Busa's men coming through the fields. Okay, come on. Let's pick them off before they get too close.
prefer the other one. What are you waiting for? He's in the blue building. Arthur, will you grab that captain so we can get out of here? I'm sure we will, but not today, not because of you. The U.S. Navy is on the way. I am sure they are, which is why you're going to let us leave. Oh, you are dying, right? Hear me! Of the in the tower? Yes. Yes, that's him. This goddamn idiot. Come on! He's shooting. We have to take him down. Ate, there's another cannon up ahead on our left. Can you get to that? I'll try. Captain. A 
what now? Uh, uh, what now? What do you mean, what now? I mean, we're headed back to Lemoyne. Come on now. Yep. Easy, girl. I'm nearly there. <laughs> Let's go. Yep.
Hello? Anyone here? <sighs> Susan! Strauss, you here? Hello? Sadie? Pearson? Melton keeps sending us back every day to search this place. There quite clearly isn't a gang of outlaws held up here. Look, those are fresh footprints. Looks like someone might be here right now. Sure, someone is here. There's always someone everywhere. Well, let's look around, then. See if we can find something for Mr. Milton. Mr. Milton? I'd like to find a poison snake for him. That's enough, Mr. Johns. You take Mr. Bunter and search around back. Mr. Orley, let's head inside. Gentlemen, be careful. Found a letter. You're a dead man. Well, thank you, darling Miss Caroline. I guess I'm coming to see you in the cake. Step. Here.
Yep. Arthur's here. Oh, Arthur, oh, your laugh. Just about. Come inside. Come on, look it's raining. <laughs> hey, everybody, look who's here. How y'all doing? Yeah. Hey, old man, wake up. Arthur. Hey, Arthur, they got John. Good to see you. Yeah, he got arrested. He ain't hung yet? Not yet. They moved him to Sisica. He's been working on a chain gang. <sighs> Howdy. Okay. <laughs> How did you folks find each other? What happened? Can can somebody give me a cup of coffee or something? It was Mrs. Adler who saved us, Dutch. After the robbery in Saint Denis, she got us away from the camp before the Pinkertons turned up. Then Mrs. Adler and Mr. Smith drove away the degenerates of her living here. Mrs. Adler, we owe you. Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Thank you. It's been real hard, Dutch. We... we've been surviving, but only just. What we gonna do? Things have been tough. There ain't no doubt about that. Trust me. I am gonna get us out of here. This ain't over. Ain't none of you folks interested in our adventures? Mm. Guess we're more <laughs> interested in escaping the hangman on our tail? Cheerful nymph of the prairie, wasn't you, Abigail? Oh, sure. My fair heart jumps for joy when I set eyes on you, Micah. <laughs> we buried Hosea Dutch. Charles and I stole his body from the law one night and gave him a proper burial. It was real nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, here you is. Well, I asked everyone I could find, and eventually someone new said you fools were out here. Shit. Give me a drink or something. Get your own damn drink. In our absence, Mrs. Adler here has been looking after things. Now sit down. This is Agent Milton with the Pinkerton Detective Agency. Already? On behalf oh, of shit. Cornwall, Kerosene, and Tor, the United States government... And the Commonwealth of West Elizabeth! Here we go. We are here to arrest you! Come out with your hands up! Give them to a count of five, then give them everything. Actually, let them have it. Get down! Uh, ask everyone you can Arthur, follow me! You this is real bad! You stay down, Ollie! God damn it! Follow me! Where are we going? 
This way! There's a trapdoor into the other half. We can try to flank them!
us, Arthur? Oh, me and Bill and Sadie. <coughs> you okay, son? Sure. We ain't been back for more than a few days. What, what do we do, Dutch? Clearly, we need to leave. It'll take them some time to regroup. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw, start packing up. Javier, you and Bill, get out of here. Go scare off any scum still loitering about. We need a couple of days. Now, please, gentlemen. Sure. What next, Dutch? We just need some time. I just, I, I need some time. Now, we can't go east, because then we'll be in the ocean. So we're going to have to go north, I guess. I just need somebody to buy me some goddamn time, one of you. You'll figure it out, boss. You always do. What are you going to do about John, Dutch? John? He's in jail. Well, we'll get him. Abigail, just not, not yet. There's talk of hanging him. It's not going to come to that. My lord, what a goddamn mess. Everything. Not sure what happens next. The whole thing has been hard on all of us. Most of all on Dutch, who seems half crazed by all we've gone through.
Mister, are you okay? Mister, are you okay? Are you okay, Mister? <laughs> mister, you, you don't look so good. Let's get you to a doctor. Come on, it's not far. Just down the street here. It's all right, take your time. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. I'll be fine in a minute. I'm fine. Nearly there, just around this corner. Now you head in there, friend. Go on. Can I help you? Uh, I, I need a doctor. Oh, uh, just one second, sir. Come in, pal. Come in. <laughs> Mister, I need some help. And so it seems. <coughs> and that's Dr. Mister to you. I'm sorry. Uh, I was joking. Look, friend, I don't mean nothing, but you got money? I mean, before I start treating you, because I got a family. Yeah, I understand. Here, let do you. Uh, sure. Thank you. Now, what's wrong? I mean, what appear to be the symptoms? Well, I... I think you've heard them and I'm coughing. Uh, is there any blood? Sometimes. Uh-huh. Okay, now here. Breathe. Again? Yeah. Let me see your tongue. And say ah. Ah. What is it? It's not good news. Well, I guess that. You got tuberculosis. I'm really sorry for you, son. It's a hell of a thing. You mean you're real sick. You it's a progressive disease. And you'll be now the best thing is rest and getting somewhere warm and dry and taking it easy. Now, is that possible? Sure, I can just take my winters in my country club in California. No, <coughs> it's not possible. Well, like I said, I 
I'm real sorry. Yeah, well. Yeah, oh, wait, wait. Uh, let me get you a little bit more energy today. Any problems coming in? Nah. Guess they know now we ain't in the city. Who, Mr. Milton's friends? Yeah, they've had patrols out ever since you boys disappeared. Well, at least you're alive. For now, yeah. What happened in... Um... Guama? Yeah. <coughs> Nothing nice. What happened to Dutch? Because he seems... I don't know. Seems as... What began happening in Blackwater began happening years ago, maybe. A slow decline, I guess. What do you mean? I ain't quite sure. What happened here? I started gathering people up as best I could after you boys left. And John, you know that part. I do. And Hosea? So that too. Hell, we got Lenny's body out as well. Robbed the morgue and buried them together. Follow me. So, what's your plan here? Well, I figure before we do anything, we need to make sure John's even still at this prison. And how do we do that? We need to get up high enough to get a proper look at the place. What? It's on an island, ain't it? Unless you're planning on learning how to fly. That's exactly what we're gonna do. I found us a hot air balloon. You ain't serious. Now, the pilot, or whatever you call him, he thinks we're just in it for a lesson. Bit of a tour. <laughs> He's quite the character. I think you'll like him. You know, I'm impressed. You really stepped things up, ain't you? Hey, we didn't know if you was even coming back. Whole thing hit folks real hard. You can see it. Heron's gone falling fully into the bottle. 
Strauss is a bag of nerves. Swanson, well, Swanson's actually gone and cleaned up his act. So I guess it ain't all gone to shit. I'm just happy you boys were able to find us. Javier said he got the letter I left at the post office. That was a good idea. Until the Pinkerton showed up. Oh, by the way, I've been hunting O'Driscoll boys. Killed two of the sons of bitches at a campsite last week. What? Yeah. Seems they've drifted down this way now. Oh, she a beauty, ain't she? From here on the ground, yes. Mr. Bullard? Hmm. Mr. Bullard. Ah, Mrs. Adler. It's good to see you. Good to see you. Ah, uh, this is my friend I told you about, Mr. Morgan. Ah, yes, Arturo Bullard. At your service, sir. At your service. Arthur Morgan. Well, it's a nice, fresh day for flying, sir. A day like today, an Icarus would have made it across the sea. Ha, ha, ha. Have you ever flown before, sir? No. Oh, it's quite a thing. Quite a thing. Now, put these on and hop in. Well, ain't she coming? Ah, uh, well, women can't fly, sir. Are you insane? We can't. Oh, no, sir. It does terrible damage to them, to their vapors. I thought everyone knew about that. Why, a delicate flower like Mrs. Adler? <laughs> Heavens above or below. Ah. Where'd you find this guy? I told you you two would get on. Uh, are you sure about this? Certain, sir. Quite certain. Mrs., let us away. <clears throat> Wish us luck. I've only crashed twice. Now, uh, pull on that rope uh, and hope for the best. Ah! You boys have fun. How did you get out of this? <laughs> okay, here goes nothing. Right, time to catch a few vapors of our own. It's a little overcast, but I'm expecting some good wind once we're high enough. We should still have some decent views over the river. Now, one hates to be coarse, but on the subject of ablutions, liquids over the side, solids, do your utmost to levy the situation until we land. Okay, Mr. Bullard. I had a client once who fell foul to a rotten oyster on the ascent. A decidedly harrowing experience for all involved. Keep going, sir! We need to get up above the clouds. It really is stunning up there. You'll have seen nothing like it. All right, then. Let's break through these clouds. Heavenly indeed. Quite remarkable, isn't it? Feels like we have a nice westerly wind, so keep her around this height. This particular vessel is state-of-the-art, sir. Imported from Europe. You won't find more than a couple of these on this side of the pond. So long as it works. Maybe ease off the throttle there, sir. Descend a little. There isn't enough wind at this height. I told you we need to descend or we won't move. Try to keep us around this height. You sure you shouldn't be doing this? Oh, not at all. A child could operate this with a little supervision. Besides, Mrs. Adler told me you were very keen to learn the ropes. We have plenty of those. She did, did she? Ah, that's better. Look, we can see for miles now. Arturo, how perfect is this? My mother was a keen student of the Italian eight. 
My brother's called Baldessario, so you could say I got off lightly. Look, I I'm trying to concentrate here. Ascend! The wind isn't strong enough at this altitude. We have to gain some altitude, sir! Like we're moving again. Did you breakfast in the city this morning, Mr. Morgan? Not exactly. Well, I have a boiled egg in my pocket here that you're very welcome to. I think I'm all right, thank you. Recalling the ablutions uh, discussion. Well, just say the word. Whoa there, no need to go any higher. So, if I may ask, what got you interested in the pursuit of aviation? I didn't, exactly. Uh, Mrs. Adler thought she'd surprise me. Ah, a very nice woman. And no shrieking violet. Definitely not. I prefer slightly more feminine attire on a lady, but variety is the very spice of life, as they say. Or is it, though? Did you know they locked up the man who wrote that in a mental asylum? I did not, Mr. Bullard. Okay, we're getting a little high now. See that building up ahead on the island? That's the infamous Sisica Penitentiary. We shouldn't fly too near to it, though, sir. Sorry, we're going in for a closer look. What do you mean? Mr. Morgan, please, this is most irregular. Well, you want a happy customer, don't you? Look, this isn't funny now. What on earth are you doing? The guards are bound to spot us. Calm down. They won't care if we stay high enough. I'm just looking for a friend of mine. A friend? Poor bastard has a habit of being in the wrong place at the wrong time. I heard they got him working the fields in a chain gang. Dear God. unusual. Relax, Mr. Bullard. Take over. Keep us well away. I'll do my best. This filly isn't the easiest to control, you know. I can't believe we're doing this. This was not the tour I had in mind. Maybe try looking lower down. We look a little suspicious, wouldn't you say? That's not him. Okay, hit by the barn. Please hurry. That ain't John.
Looks like him. Well, it's hard to tell, though. Should we, uh, think about heading back? Mr. Bullard, you can get up. Good Lord! My heart is pounding! <sighs> I must say, the specifics of this job were not described to me at all sufficiently. Well, it's done now. Mrs. Adler? Where? Being chased. Yes. Try and get us near. Will there be more trouble, sir? I expect so. I'm starting to rather enjoy this. I'm gonna be hey, Shane! Up here! You're just in time! Shit, they're all Driscoll's. Mrs. Adler has a lot to answer for. Yes, she does. What a day! I'm starting to rather enjoy this. Hey, say it! Up there! You're just in time! Shit, they're all dresses. Mrs. Adler has a lot to answer for. Yes, she does. Wait till I tell Baldessario about this! I'm gonna put you down. Trishmills right now. Oh, I think I might need to adjust. Shading! Grab the 
rope, come on! Grab the rope! A drink for the old Driscoll who killed this cocksucker! Look out! There's a bridge up ahead! Okay, I'll come down and get you on the other side! You're too high! Followed us. Get behind something. This ain't over yet. These goddamn old Driscolls! You can't leave them for one day? Just kill these sons of bitches! Uh Stay out of trouble for one goddamn hour. You got that poor bastard killed for his troubles. I kind of liked him. They got Comb, the government. They got Comb O'Driscoll. They're gonna hang him in San Denis. Hang him? Okay. Mm -mm. He's already been tried twice for murder and found guilty. Sure, no doubt he'll escape again. No.
Oh, he won't, because we're going to make sure of it. I... We have our own problems with the law, in case you ain't noticed. Dutch will want to see him swing. Sure, Dutch. He wouldn't even help us with Marston. And our situation is really messed up right now. You know how things is. Bastard's gonna swing. I'm gonna make sure of it. Closely followed by Marston. You saw him? Yes, in the fields. Okay. Then we go rescue him. <coughs> From a state penitentiary? No. But from the fields? Yes. That we can manage. It's well guarded. Guarded, sure, but not behind bars. No, it's not behind bars. So, that's how we'll do it. Bust him from his work detail. I guess. It's best just the two of us go. <coughs> the two of us is all there is, anyhow. Good, because two is all we'll need. I'll get us a bunk. A little one. And we'll sneak in and get him out of there. Meet me at Copperhead Landing. Thank you, Arthur. Whatever you say, boss. I heard that. Yep, yep. Okay, boy. Yep.
This what you Get want? Get the hell out of my sight! <laughs> you made me do this! <laughs> you never- Stay calm. It's okay.
Okay, boy. Let's go. Yeah. That's no place for you. Hey, take it easy there, okay? Thanks. Come on, boy. Get him. Come here.
Yep. Oi. Here. Let's get. Just give me a minute, boy.
Another morning. Hello, Tilly. You okay? I live, I suppose. Sir. 